Hey folks, Captain Mikey here from beautiful North Florida. Absolutely no fishing in the past week. Just getting over about a week of storms. Driving me a little crazy, because fishing has been a no-go. But you know what, that's okay. Because I got some news that's gonna change everything. And honestly, I needed a little bit of time to get things ready. This is definitely a game changer. Yeah, absolute game changer. You know, about a month ago, my wife and I, we took our one year anniversary trip. We decided to go to a place that neither of us had ever been before and do something that neither of us had ever done before. Viva Las Vegas, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I'd never been to Vegas before. And I spent a couple days in Vegas at some beautiful hotels, tons of fun, saw some awesome shows. After Vegas, we rented an RV. There was so much stuff we had never seen before that I couldn't wait to get to do. We had a whole week in an RV from the Grand Canyon through the Mojave Desert into California up to Sequoia National Park, saw the biggest trees in the world, insane. Up to Yosemite, oh, what a glorious place. And then back through Death Valley, what a fantastic trip. But on our way back from that trip, my wife started getting very ill. And she was having some terrible flu-like symptoms. Couldn't keep food down, very nauseous, and made for a horrible plane ride back. And we had to fly all night. My poor wife was getting sicker by the minute. After a few days of really no improvement, terrible fatigue, horrible nausea, I had to take my wife to the doctors. And there were tests, so many tests, 11 tests and they all came back positive. Uh, we're not positive, but uh, we might be having a baby. <laughs> That's right, I'm gonna be a daddy, baby. Woo! <laughs> Captain Mikey is gonna be a daddy. That is unbelievable, guys. I guess what happens in Vegas doesn't necessarily stay in Vegas now, does it? <laughs> I am over the moon ecstatic that I'm gonna be a daddy. Yeah, this is gonna change everything. Bringing a baby into this world is a huge responsibility and it's definitely gonna take top priority over anything else. I've got so much more to deal with now that everything's changed. But I'm gonna do my best, guys, to try to make sure that we still get at least one video out per week during all of this. So on that note, Here's our second piece of big news. Sawgrass Bassett has officially become an entity, a business. We have officially opened up a Patreon page. A Patreon page for anybody that wants to be a patron and help, help support Sawgrass Bassett and become a bigger part of the business altogether. What's a patron? Think of it like an assistant producer. For all you guys that are big fans that would love to see Sawgrass Bassin continue and grow in the future here, you can become part of Sawgrass Bassin yourselves. Patrons will have very exclusive access into the inner workings of Sawgrass Bassin. You're gonna see sneak peeks and behind the scenes stuff that nobody else will get to see. You and I can get a heck of a lot more personal. Patrons and I, we're gonna communicate directly, one on one. That means you may even have, be part of the decision-making process in what happens in every one of these videos. And for showing your support, you got all sorts of rewards coming your way. Check out the Patreon page for Sawgrass Bassin. There's a link below in the description, but check it out. See what all the rewards that you can get for becoming a patron of Sawgrass Bassin. I got another way for you all to finally reach out to me here. I opened up a P.O. box. Finally opened up a P.O. box. So you guys that have been asking for so many, for so long on where can you send me stuff? Where can you send me lures that you want me to try out? Where can you send me challenges that you want me to try out? Or where can you just send me a letter? I got a P.O. box. It's super easy, guys. I'm gonna put it down in the descriptions, but it's P.O. Box 206, Hawthorne, Florida, 32640. Super easy. P.O. Box 206, Hawthorne, Florida, 32640. There is nothing more personal or better, in my opinion, 
than a handwritten letter. I try my hardest to read every comment and to answer every comment for you guys, but I guarantee I am going to re respond to a personal letter from you guys. If you have any ideas that for a future video, any challenges you want to see me take on, let me know. Go ahead and send it right to my P.O. box. Guaranteed, I'm going to get to that one. Why not say, guys? Three amazing pieces of news that are definitely changing the future of Sawgrass Passing. Let's get to what y'all came here for. This is gonna be an insane challenge, guys. I'm actually gonna run into the store right now. It won't let me film in here, but I, I scoped this out the other day. I'm gonna grab it. I'm no stranger to taking on crazy challenges. I will fish with just about any kind of rod that's out there. But this one, whoo! This one might be a little crazy, even for me. Let me just run into the store here and grab this, guys. But I'm telling you, this one is gonna be tough. Oh, what store am I talking about? There it is, guys. The Family Dollar. That's right. But they already told me I'm not allowed to film in there. I'm gonna run in. I'll be right back, guys. Hold tight, guys. All right, guys. They wouldn't let me film in there, but I got. I, I had to go get this. I spotted this a couple days ago. It was only three dollars at the Family Dollar store, and God, I had to try it. Check it out, guys. Oh yeah. It's the three dollar plastic toy rod fishing kit. Look at this thing. It's got a little bait caster kind of reel. It looks like there's a little trigger on it right there. It comes with these four fish that I can catch. Of course, with this little plastic hook and bobber set here. I'm gonna try to take this little rod here, <laughs> this little reel, and I'm gonna put some actual monofilament or something on it. Put some line, a real line on it, a real hook, and we're gonna try to catch some real fish out in that lake with that <laughs> check it out guys three dollars three dollars plastic fishing set from the family dollar can i catch fish on this are you kidding me this might be a little crazy even for me let's do this let's open this bad boy up and see what the heck we got going on in here are you kidding look at this thing Let's just see how just how cheap cheap and flimsy this thing really is. Oh, there's one of the little fishies. Wonder if I can turn these into like little lures at some point. Maybe, maybe. Uh oh, fish going everywhere. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is ridiculous. Guys, check this out. This thing, oh my god. This is literally this literally has the strength. Uh, and the feel of like the straw that comes with your drink at McDonald's, honestly. But it does have a little reel. Oh my God, there's no way I'm catching a fish on this thing, guys. I don't. Does this button do anything? Oh my God, listen, guys. There's like a little drag on this. I hold that button down, and it free spools. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a challenge, guys. I'm trying to reel this in, this dinky little thing. Well, casting is not gonna happen. This one piece piece of plastic here is not gonna work for casting. So I'm gonna have to pull the line out manually and try to cast it that way, okay? <laughs> These little eyes, they don't even stay in place. <laughs> Look, I can adjust it to whatever I want here. Yeah, that's nice. That's better there. Look, little one foot of line there. Look how long it takes me to reel that thing up. That was about 10 turns. Let's count that. Let's figure that out again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and a half turns. I can't do that kind of math. What kind of gear ratio that is. Honestly, this entire rod and reel probably weighs about one and a half ounces it's incredibly cheap flimsy flimsy plastic the whole darn thing plastic plastic but we're gonna put some monofilament on we're gonna put a real hook on it and we're gonna see what we can catch up here out here i've got some nice bluegill let's try to tackle a couple bluegill first if this can pull in a couple bluegill there's also some really large wild shiners here that get like over a pound that would probably be a tremendous challenge on this alone if we can take it down one or two of those maybe i'll throw a minnow on and try to catch a bass if this thing doesn't break right away that is crazy dude this is what i'm gonna fish with i'm gonna catch fish with this okay oh 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 get him get him get him 
He's biting. It's one of those uh, elusive redfish there. No, oh, oh, wait, oh no. The grass is in the way. He's buried in deep cover over here. Oh, we got him, we got him, we got him, got him, got him, got him, guys. Got him, reel him in. Oh, what a fight, what a fighter. Look out, we got him. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to put this 10 pound test strand that I found in my truck here. It's not as easy as it looks. But it is working. It's going on, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's working. Let's do it over oh, in the back of the truck. It might be a little easier. Got some massive line twist going on already. It's going. Ooh I probably managed to get about 20 feet of line on there. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this, guys. This is just insane. Just trying to put a line on this thing. I feel like this thing is going to break. This may, may be lucky and catch one fish. We don't know. Let's see. But that's about as far as I'm going to go with the line. Here we go, guys. We got this all strung up with a little bit of monofilament here. And we got a tiny little hook put on here. This is where I catch the giant live bait. There is giant wild shiners in here over a pound. 12 inches up to a pound. That's going to be an incredible challenge for this. But there's also really big bluegill and things like that here. And we're going to use the absolute best bait you can find, a little white bread. First, we're going to chum it up a little bit and see if we can't get these fish active. <laughs> I haven't even gotten the water yet. I'm already having issues with this little plastic piece of junk here. Biggest fear was this line getting coming unspooled and getting wrapped up around in there because all the line twists are already happening. And I'm just going to have to manually, manually throw it out, cast it, and hopefully keep that keep the line nice and tight but i got things hitting the bread down right at the bottom of the dock here let's try to catch them mash it up into a nice little ball here and we're gonna put it right on the end of the hook here guys this is gonna be crazy but here we go let's see if this little plastic rod can catch us a fish oh oh god oh my god guys 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 we're on. <laughs> I got one on the little plastic rod. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big shiner. Big shiner. Look at this thing go. <laughs> I can't even reel it, man. Reel, 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 reel. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Get it. <laughs> Look what the plastic rod did. <laughs> Look at the size of the shiner on the plastic. Oh, it worked. We actually got one. Oh, my goodness, guys. <laughs> wow. Did you see that thing flexing? Did you see that rod flex? Wow, that was crazy. Crazy, look at the size of that. The plastic rod caught us a fish. Oh, that was crazy. That actually handled pretty well, considering the size of the fish. Let's get back out there and get another one. Well, that didn't take long at all. I'm gonna have to pull some line out here again. It actually handled it pretty well. Able to reel that fish in. The rod didn't break. We do, we're doing good so far. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I can't believe it caught a fish, let alone a pretty decent one. Uh oh, guys, we're on, we're on, we're on, we're on. Holy crap, what is this? This thing's huge. It's huge. It's under, it's running. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, my God. Whoa. oh, it's a big bluegill. Big, giant bluegill. <laughs> Look at this little rock go. Look at Wow. That is a slab bluegill. Giant. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Woo Look at the size of the bluegill on this little thing. Are you flipping kidding me? Oh, my God. That is amazing. That is like a giant, giant, giant bluegill. You see that thing run? It was just pulling it under the dock everywhere. Wow, that's a huge bluegill, guys. Look at that. Look at that slab bluegill caught on this. Woohoo! Yeah! That is awesome right there. That is flipping awesome. That is so cool. <laughs> so cool. Woo! Well, we know it works. It catches fish. I can't believe it. I actually handled it pretty good, too. Let's get another one. That bluegill just went crazy. He took me out for a run underneath the dock. <laughs> took everything I had to get him up here. This is so much fun, guys. This is so much fun. I had, honestly, I had zero faith in this. I say that a lot, don't I? But I really did have zero faith in this little plastic rod here. I thought for sure it would break. 
That was a slab, slab bluegill. And in one of those giant wild shiners, that thing had to have been close to half a pound, if not better. Oh, yes, 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 we're on again. We're on again. Oh, he's running. He's under the dock again. Oh my goodness. What is it? I can't reel it in. What is it? Where is it? Where is it? What do we got? Oh, I, it's another giant bluegill, I think. Yes, it is. Another massive, massive bluegill. Oh my God. Come here. Come on, reel him up, reel him up. Yeah. <laughs> Check that out. These are these things are just huge. Look at that. Look at the size of these bluegill that I'm catching on this dinky $3 piece of plastic junk rod. That is insane. Oh my god. Look at these are giant, man. These are the bigger than the bigger than my hand. Woohoo! Yeah! Look at that, guys. That that right there is awesome. What a beautiful bluegill. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> this is so cool. This little thing is actually performing very, very well. I think I can catch a bass with this? I do have some minnows. This is like, maybe that would be my next, this is like literally like fishing with a McDonald's straw. It's a straw, that'll be my next challenge. Can I catch fish with a McDonald's straw? I don't know what else to do after this. So ri ridiculously, but ridiculously wimpy. Yeah, let's see what happens over on this side. We're on, we're on, we're on again, guys. Here we go, here we go. What do we got? Oh, he's strong, he's strong. Where? Oh, I think we got a shot. No, another big bluegill. <laughs> another giant bluegill. Look at him go down there. Oh, look at the size of this thing. Man, it's so hard to hold on to this thing in real. Come on, come on. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Little bit smaller than the other ones, but still an amazing catch on this plastic piece of junk toy. I can't believe I'm catching fish with this thing. I really can't. <laughs> Look at that. Awesome. 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 Woo! So awesome. This is incredible. Wow. Guys, honestly, I saw this thing at Family Dollar a couple days ago. So I had to go back today and grab it. But I mean, for $3, it's a little kid's toy set, but this thing is actually working. It literally has the strength of, of like a straw you would get with your fountain drink. This is such a piece of absolute junk here. It's worked though. I've caught, what, three really large bluegill and a big giant wild shiner so far. I'm, I'm seriously, honestly, <laughs> incredibly shocked. I really thought this this cheap piece of junk would break completely. It, it might yet, but so far, it's done pretty darn good. Here we go. Oh, yes, 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 we're on. We're on. What do we got? Ooh, ooh, here he goes. Here he goes. <laughs> get him, get him, get him. Get him. What do we got today? What is it? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, oh, is that... What is that? Is that a crap? Oh, it's, a, it's another bluegill. <laughs> He's just a lot lighter in color. Woo! That's four really nice bluegill. Four really nice bluegill and a giant wild shiner. Nice! But you know what? I want to try to catch a bass. Let's see if we can get something else. <laughs> Beauty! All right, what I'm going to do now, guys, let's see if we can get something a little bigger on here. I put on a little bobber here, and I've got some minnows. I'm going to put a big minnow on there and toss it out. Try to get it closer to that grass and those weeds there. See if there's a little bass or something sitting around there. That would be pretty cool. Go ahead, swim minnow, swim minnow. Get eat. Lots of minnows in the water here. Oh, oh, dude, the bobber's going under. The bobber's going under. Oh, we got him. I got him. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, dude. Oh, oh, my God. Do I still got him? I still got him, guys. Oh, my God, I can't reel. Oh, he just popped off. What was that? Something was eating my minnow. Oh, he popped off because I couldn't reel him in. Let's go get another minnow. Let's do this again. Something ate that minnow. I want to know what it was. Back with another minnow here. Got a little better cast this time, too. Look, there's a bunch of minnows poking at my bobber here. <laughs> Weird ass. Oh, 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 oh. Something going on? Is something going on or is it? I, I can't tell. I think I think that minnow's 
Oh, oh, there it goes. Bobber going under. Someone's got him again. Oh, wait, wait, I do, I do, I got it, I got him. What do I, oh, I got a little crappy, guys. I got a crappy. Oh my God, <laughs> we got a crappy. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this, a nice crappy too. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Crappy, crappy, crappy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This plastic piece of junk rod just caught a crappy. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that thing. I wonder if that's what, I bet you that's what I had the first one too. Look out, guys. We just caught a crappy on this little piece of junk rod. Woo! <laughs> Not a giant, but a real nice one for this rod. Oh, that's so much fun. Let's catch another one. I bet you there's a bunch of them in here. Another minnow in the water. Something's on him again. Yeah, that minnow is really excited. Here he goes. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Something's on him. Oh, no. It's going under the dock. Oh no. We got one. We got something underneath the dock here. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I, he took off under the dock. I just let him go. Ah! Oh no, he's going to wrap me up. He's got me wrapped up. Oh, I still got him. I still got him. We got a bass, guys. We got a little bass. <laughs> we got a bass. Oh, I can't reel it in. Come on. Get him. Get him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Four species on the little plastic rod. Look at that, guys. The little guy got us a bass. Woo. <laughs> Woo. That is awesome. That is flipping awesome. Right there, that's exactly what I wanted to see happen. <laughs> we caught a bass. Yeah, buddy! Guys, I gotta say, this little plastic rod has actually done it. It's held up, it caught some monster bluegill, a giant wild shiner, a nice crappie, and now a bass, a large mud bass. Four species, and this thing's still kicking. I gotta do it, guys. I gotta call it. This is a challenge complete. Yeah, buddy. Thank you, Mr. Bass. <laughs> that right there, guys. This hunky piece of junk, little piece of plastic, this McDonald's soft drink straw. This thing is just such a piece of junk. But it did it. It actually caught half a dozen fish and it handled everything we threw at it. That is a challenge complete. That is awesome. Woo! Challenge complete. Yeah! Man, I had a blast out here fishing with this. Who would have guessed a $3 little child's toy from the dollar store would have caught four different species of fish out here. I caught four different species of fish on this tiny little hunk of junk plastic that cost me $3 at the dollar store. That was incredible. I never thought this thing would make it. Honestly, I thought it was gonna break the very first time I tried to reel it in, but it worked. We caught some slabs, some absolute slab bluegill on this. We caught a giant wild china. We caught a crappie, of all things, and we caught a largemouth bass. Granted, it was a small bass, but come on, look what I'm fishing with, guys. That is unbelievable. This tiny little piece of junk managed to catch four different species of fish. What a day. I had so much fun doing that. I love doing these little challenges. This was an absolute blast. Yeah, there's not a lot of educational value in it, but I had fun, and hopefully you had fun watching it too. I'm really glad I got to share it today with you guys, and I'm glad I got to share all that awesome information with you guys. Captain Mikey is having a kid. That is fantastic. I want to send a great big shout out to Michael Rice. Michael Rice is a fantastic guy, a longtime friend, and a longtime follower of Sawgrass Bass in here. But most importantly, Michael Rice has the honor of being our very first patron. That's right. Welcome to the family, Michael Rice. Check it out on Patreon.com, guys. Make sure you go down to the description and look it up. Look at everything that it has to offer to be a patron of Sawgrass Bass. And, and of course, if you got anything you want to send to Captain Mikey or Sawgrass Bassin, make sure you send it to the P.O. Box down in the description as well. I really hope you did enjoy this as much as I did. And I hope, well, maybe you did learn a little something. If you did, make sure you smash the heck out of that like button. And leave a comment for me on anything else that you like to see me film out here. I'll do my very best to make a video on each and every one of those. But most importantly, guys, subscribe to that channel. And if you're already subscribed, 
Stay subscribed, because there's plenty more coming in Sawgrass Bass's future. One last time, guys, from beautiful North Florida, fishing with $3 Kids Toys. It's Captain Mikey, signing out. The future is bright. You keep those lines tight.